like Basi uh, mentioned before, and I, like I mentioned before, teaching is a really attractive career choice in Finland. And uh, a lot of fin Finnish people want to be teachers. They they uh, think teaching is like a like life choice. What what they want to do? For example, me, I knew a long time ago that I I'd like to be a teacher. I want to be a teacher. Uh, it is it's not easy to get into teaching. Uh, also, the actual five years in a university are quite uh, intensive. We have to learn many things in. Uh, and how to uh, be with different children, how to how to understand different children, and how to work with different children. Uh, our education, in for example, uh, is really high and it's based on research which then enters into the schools so we take all this high educational levels into our schools and try to teach as high uh, teach as well as we can there and and this will end up being that that's why we have so advanced uh, pupils in our schools also so what what Finland has because of uh, these specificities is that we have uh, excellent learning outcomes. Uh, our, our, our whole of way of teaching is research-based. All our books, uh, what the students use are based on research. Uh, and they're also based on teachers that teach in, the, uh, in the schools. So they know what types of exercises, what type of books are good for the students or the pupils. Our uh, teachers are really, really educated, really high. Uh, they don't need to be uh, checked or they don't need to be monitored how they're doing things. We trust teachers and this gives the freedom to do different types of things with the students. We have innovative teaching methods and strong ICT sector. So uh, it gives us a massive amount of uh, uh, ideas what to do and our ways of doing this many things what we can do in the classroom which allows uh, our teaching to be not just one way but many ways we can do our teaching uh, like i said uh, our teaching is of course based on our national curriculum also schools can make their uh, own that one school might uh, uh, concentrate into more certain things for example at the moment uh, in Manda there's they want to really that uh, our, everybody's like computer skills and uh, ICT skills uh, are improved so they can use these certain uh, um, abilities, for example, in the future. Our curriculum is renewed about every 10 years. So the latest one came in 2016. So probably in a few years time, a new one is going to come, which is update, updated on research based on research and also based on what what has happened in, in the schools. Well, the basic ideas of the curriculum is that all pupils are active learners. So we don't want to have uh, that the teachers just give lectures uh, to the students and they try to just remember and understand what the teacher is saying. So we have a lot of uh, uh, ways of teaching where we uh, activate the stu uh, pupils into the learning or into the teaching methods. So we have games, we have, uh, we have different types of discussions and all the different types of projects. It is discussing, it's talking, it's uh, uh, thinking, it's uh, acting activating the curious uh, learner that a child is. And we try to also build the, um, the school environments into a place where it is easy to learn, it is easy to uh, understand, learn and know new things. Uh, 
and that's why we have different types of classrooms which which allows this. Thank you.